Welcome back to another episode of Cow Corner and Cos. We're sitting down here at the Adelaide Uni Cricket Club and uh, fair old facility and uh, looks like a, a pretty nice track out there as well, mate. Yeah, it's one of the best uh, grounds in Adelaide. Great cricket, I'd say, if not the best up there. When it's when it's like this, it's beautiful. So uh, it's normally nice and flat and fast. No, it's uh, absolutely brilliant. And as always, we've got to thank, thank Jim's Fencing uh, for all their support and spot being our major sponsor here at Cow Corner. Uh, another great week in cricket, a lot going on with the Women's 2020 World Cup on. Uh, the men have played their three 2020s over in South Africa uh, and lots of great news to get around with that. We've got the, a very special guest in the leading run scorer uh, in the competition, great competition at the moment in Sammy Kerber, uh, fresh off a ton that you'll uh, get to have a chat to him later. But uh, with that, Cos, we'll get straight into the international news. We've got the international news brought to you by Millard Conveyancing. Cos, uh, as we said, uh, we'll touch on the Women's World Cup at the first. And uh, we said it last in last week's show that uh, they copped a bit of a scare in the tri-series against yeah. India. And India got the Aussies beaten game one. Yeah, they've had a bit of a scare. I think they've, they've got to do it the hard way now. They've, they've probably hit England in the uh, semi. Um, but uh, look, you always have a scare in a World Cup. You look at all the World Cups Australia have won. There's always been a a scare or a moment where they have to win every game. So uh, there's a lot of pressure for the girls. Like, they talk about the grand final having 90,000 people there. Um, it's, it's probably the biggest stage I'll ever play on. So um, you can forgive them for being a bit, a bit nervous in the first game or first two games. Yeah, they, uh, and I think your, player, your pick for player of the tournament, Alyssa Healy, she caught a bit of flack for not scoring many in that tri-series, but she top scored with 51. Uh, in that first game as well, which is good to see her back in form, Cos. Yeah, she's a good player and she's, oh, she's a gun player, one of the best in the world. So you're never going to keep her down for long. So in the pre-tournament, you uh, you can see her, she was just getting through, I think. I think she was getting through, making sure she didn't get injured, bust a finger before the, before the big dance. So hopefully she's uh, on fire now and, can, and really drag Australia through to the World Cup. Yeah, obviously uh, game two as well, had a bit of a scare there um, in, in that game as well, getting over Sri Lanka. Uh, with three balls to spare in that game, but they got the job done, led by the skipper in Meg Lanning as well, and uh, played Bangladesh tonight too. Will be uh, the girls should win that game, uh, yeah. but it should be good to watch. It should be a your comfortable win tonight. You think uh, they've probably played the best two teams in their in their group stage now, so hopefully they can find some form and start getting back to the uh, the Australian team of old and actually smashing sides and, and getting their tournament often often going. Absolutely, mates, and uh, we'll touch on the men's. 2020 tour of uh, or the tour of South Africa, which is the 2020 uh, three games have completed. We won 2-1, and apart from the one loss, geez, we pumped the South Africans in the, <laughs> the other two games. Yeah, we did. It was um, it's fantastic. It's a great um, advertisement of cricket in Australia. They've um, obviously got beaten the second game. Everything's quite tight, but to come and put a performance like that uh, last night uh, or this morning was uh, was fantastic. Um, Steve Smith getting dropped down the order. Um, and showing how, how good of a player he is, his class, 30 or 15 balls, really put the icing on their cake. I still think they're missing Maxwell, um, but other than that, Australia's in some decent form heading into a World Cup year. No, absolutely. They yeah, start their ODI series, uh, I think, we think, working out the time difference, yeah, Saturday, morning, Saturday morning, our think, time. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's going to be great to watch the, uh, the three game ODI series as well. Before, as we said uh, previous shows, that odd fixture where they then come back to Australia to play New Zealand in March in a, in a short form uh, tournament. Yeah, definitely. I think South Africa's gonna be obviously going to be a different team uh, in the one days, but uh, the form they've got in the T20s, hopefully that translates into the into the one days. And then coming back here to play New Zealand in um, three one days at the back end of summer, which is going to be, it's going to be difficult because it's, the season's over nearly. So it'll be interesting how much um, I try to get behind them or if they would already switched the footy already. So uh, it, it'll be fun to uh, fun to watch. Yeah, I reckon they might have switched to footy by that stage. Well, uh, I'm starting to now, so yeah. <laughs> it's getting to that point. But mate, while we're on international news as well, uh, you're actually heading off to yeah. represent Australia as well over in, in India. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, there's a Masters tour for the road safety uh, in India. So um, yeah, we're off there, West Indies, South Africa, Sri Lanka, India, and Australia. So there's some some big names other than myself. <laughs> there's some really big names. I think Brett Lee's captain in Australia. Uh, John T. Rhodes, uh, South Africa, uh, Brian Lara, uh, captaining the West Indies, and, and Sachin Dandulka, captaining uh, India, and Dilshan, captaining Sri Lanka. So um, I think 
the way I've heard, the India and West Indies game, first game of the tournament sold out. So um, really excited to get over there. It's, it's going to be a, a fantastic tournament to, to watch the, the greats play the game and just to see Sachin play in India, I think for me, is going to be one of the highlights. So um, yeah, I can't wait. No, it's going to be excellent. What, what are we expecting from you? Have you had a call from the skipper, Brett Lee, about <laughs> yet to uh, learn a little bit about what your role is going to be in the team? No, I talked to Brett Jeeves the other day and um, he said he's about 130 kilos. So he said, I'm not sure I'll get three, four overs. So I'm a bit worried that way. Um, ben Hilfenhaus struggled to get three, four overs at the back end of his career as well. So I think I may have got some bowling in me, which I'm not overly happy about. <laughs> but uh, no, it should be a good tournament. There's some really good players. and. The good thing for us is Australia, we, we know each other really well, so it should be a fantastic tour and no doubt we'll have a lot of fun on it. That's going to be absolutely brilliant. We uh, might have to get some coverage from you over there as well <laughs> and, and keep the fans updated with what's going on. That's going to be brilliant to watch. And uh, So we uh, wish you all the best with that, Cos, and uh, hopefully we can get some runs for the viewers. Yeah, hopefully get a couple in the middle, which should be nice, and I'll get a couple wickets if I get a go. But, uh, yeah, it should be good fun. Uh, it's going to be excellent, mate. Uh, we got, as we said, Lots to talk about. We've got a Shield game, last day of a Shield game that's starting to uh, get quite inter interesting. Yeah. So let's get straight into the state news. Oh, we've got the state news and because, uh, as we said, we're into the last session of the Redbacks in New South Wales game, um, which was looking, wasn't looking promising after the first innings. Uh, mm. The boys had, uh, you know, not made enough there with the bat, but... Uh, Battling, holding on strong in the second innings, and uh, got about 158 to go in the la to win in the last session. Yeah, I think Ferg just got out just before or just after T now. So um, Cooper's in there, 60 odd not out. Um, so yeah, Cooper holds the key. I think he scores quick enough to be able to at least get us somewhere near the total, and hopefully someone can finish it off, finish the job off. But it'll be a fantastic win to chase 400 at Bankstown. Or, um, will be fantastic. It's a slow shitty turny wicket where they're produced for line and line's bowled really well first innings um he's picked up a couple of this innings so uh hopefully we can keep him out and uh and we need to score off him which is going to be the hardest thing to do so um hopefully cooper there the right hand that he can he can he sweeps really well well we say we're five down but we're four recognized batsmen down obviously the night watchman yeah. going in over the night in joe manning who isn't a slouch but no. uh still means that bazisto's just come to the crease and uh as we sit here at Adelaide Uni, he's come to the crease, and uh, then um, with Coop and still got Nilsson and and Sayers is in form. After yeah, he is in form. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, of course they're, they're definitely a show, um, and where they are in a season, it's sort of nearly do or die. It's one of those games where you know if you lose, you're you're probably out of the season. If you win, you, you're still in it. So I, I can't see them blocking out for a draw. It's um, do or die now for for SA if they can win this game three games in a row, it's, um, you get some momentum with them and you're only two, two games away from the Shield final. Absolutely, so hopefully uh, as this goes to air, well, when this goes to air tonight, yeah, yeah. there'll be uh, a South Australian win on the end of it. Uh, so we can just go with, the job. well, it's great, great to see SA win three games in a row and keep their season alive <laughs> then, won't we? That's uh, full of confidence, uh, yeah. we'll be very, very happy with that. So uh, from there as well, the, they've got a big game coming up against, uh, I reckon they play the Vicks here in Adelaide yeah. next game. Yeah, definitely. The Vicks are going okay. Um, they're going through some transition with some younger players as well. So um, if we can get over line this game, well, we have just got over line this game. But uh, um, Victoria would be, be a great game. They obviously play for the David Hooks Trophy as well. So a bit more on, on them games. But, uh, you know, they're in a good position if they can win this one. They, they're Victoria at home and uh, then the last game of the season, anything can happen. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed they get over the line today. No, absolutely, mate. Couldn't have said it better myself. So uh, hopefully, yeah. We've got a red back <laughs> uh, Mate, now we've got a very special guest coming on. You're going to catch up with Sam Kerber in the Grey Cricket Roundup. G'day, Grey Cricket fans. Today I'm lucky enough to have Sam Kerber here, who I think will take out the Brabham medal this year. So um, Sam, you've had a fantastic year. 800 runs, 500. So uh, how's it been going? Yeah, firstly, thanks for having me, Cos. Oh, and uh, now it's good to be here. And um, yeah, it's going really well, mate. And pretty. Pretty impressed by the way, well, firstly, obviously my season, but the way the boys have been going, so, yeah. Yeah, you boys have been fantastic this year. You took out the T20 um, Cup, you're in the one-day final, um, and sitting top of the two-day stuff this year, so you boys are having a really good year. Um, what can you put it down to? Yeah, unfortunately, obviously got done in that grand final, but, um, yeah, great depth, I think. That's probably one of the biggest things at the club this year. We had a lot of boys um, in the first grade that uh, stuck around from last year. So we got that core group, but also managed to get uh, 
quite a few good up and coming players. So I think having that depth between the A's and B's has been awesome. I, I think uh, it's been something like we've used 20 players this year throughout both grades, so uh, 20 plus. Um, so yeah, I think having that depth is key. Yeah, yeah beautiful. I think uh, university always been a strong club, but um, this year you've really taken it to another level. Mm -hmm. um, kids like Brazil, um, Cooper Loop have really stepped up. You saw on a weekend without without Wackham, mm. who's probably been your, your leading run scorer the last five years, um, really stood up and um, yeah, took charge basically, didn't they? Yeah, obviously a class play and uh, Benny Wackham wasn't available, but um, yeah, to have those, it was awesome to see uh, two young, uh, like you said, young up and coming stars to uh, to really put on a good partnership against a pretty decent attack too. Yeah, and recruited really well with Bazisco. Yeah, yeah, Boz coming over from WA, so uh, that's always handy, a bit of a spin twin as well. So <laughs> fortunately he's now onto bigger and better things, but uh, when he's around, uh, just even from myself and a couple of the younger, younger guys, just learning from him is, uh, is awesome. What, um, what has made the difference this year? Obviously you've gone from a really good first class, of really good A grade career to a, should be playing, for me, should be playing first class career. Uh, personally, mate, I, I'm not too sure. It's probably more between the ears, I reckon, just having that clear mindset. And um, I'm a little bit older now, so a bit more understanding my game and, and what I'm trying to do. Um, and yeah, just, just enjoying it as much as I can. I think that's one of the biggest things, uh, both on and off the field, whatever, whatever I'm doing off the field. And then when it comes to that preparation you do, um, preparing during the week and then getting excited for Saturday. Um, and then when you're out and on, the, on the field, just enjoying the game, I think. Um, that's probably the biggest thing, just sticking to my processes and, and loving the game. All right. Well, good luck for the next two games. I know you've got to buy next week and yep, obviously finals, finals yeah. coming up um, in a few weeks. Yep. Um, good luck. Well, we'll ha have a look at some great games. Sounds um, good. You guys going right this week, six for 300? Yeah, six for 300 out, out here. So three, we got 330. So it's, uh, yeah, I'd say we've we got our nose in front, but Adelaide are a good side and we know they've got some good batters. So it's going to be, uh, yeah, to take 10 wickets, going to be Good, good task. Good and big, big day for yourself Saturday, another 100. So the, the fifth, 100 yeah, in the season. Yeah, another 100. Yeah. Um, breaking the record at Adelaide Uni, uh, most hundreds in the season. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't actually aware of the record until I was dismissed and uh, club store and legend uh, Rob Oshanassi was in my back pocket on the way down, yeah. <laughs> following me down the rooms and let me know. So that was, um, yeah, it was pretty surreal. And um, yeah, absolute honor and um, yeah, for, to, I think the record was, or the, it was about 99 years since that uh, record was held and um, yeah, Gilbert Joes I think it was that held the record and um, yeah, absolute honour to, to break it I guess but um, yeah, job's not done. No, definitely two more games hopefully for you boys. Yeah. Um, we'll go through some more games. East Torrens um, are playing Prospect. Um, they're looking to lock down fourth spot. Um, knocked over Prospect pretty easy. Um, I really can't see another result than an outright win no. in that game. Yeah, I think you're spot on there. Yeah. Um, West Torrens are chasing 280 yeah, that, yeah, that'll be Really interesting. I, I, we saw in the last game against uh, East Torrens, um, Dan, Daniel Drew, Dan has got another hundred and yep. made it a big one, and was able to. The other batters were able to bat around him. So if he, I'm sure if he gets going again, um, and also they've got young Bailey Capel up top. So yeah. um, if they, those two get going, I'm sure they'll they'll uh, get that. Yeah, he's had a pretty good year as well, Bailey. Mm, um, he has. Who else is there? There is West uh, West Torrens. Done that game. Um, who else is around the mate? Kenzie's 350. Um, Kenzie's 350. Yep. Like in charge of their game there. Um, yeah, can't see them dropping that, to be honest. Yeah, so the top four for me are pretty much sealed, I think. Um, yep. Uni, East Torrens, Kenzie's, and Adelaide. I think that's going to be a finals um, to watch. They've got some really good state players coming back. I think uh, I think University for me are just a nose in front with your state players coming back with Winter Many, uh, Weatherall um, coming back into, that, into your side. I think will make your side a bit too strong for the rest of the competition. So we'll see how we go. Um, a month will tell and uh, hopefully you boys are uh, crowned premierships. We'll have to see, mate. See no worries, thanks so for coming in. No worries at all, Cosy. Thanks for having me again, mate. No problems, too easy. Beautiful. Great little insight there with Cos and, and Sammy Kerber. He's an absolute star, Sam. Yeah, he's an absolute jet. He, um, he should be playing first class cricket or at least round the mark. So uh, keep, keep his name on your tip of your tongue because uh, He'll be playing for South Australia anytime soon, I'd say. Bradman medal winner? Is yeah, I think so. 800 runs, 15 wickets. Um, yeah, I can't see anyone. 500s, that's going to get you max votes most games. So, um, I can't see it. Other than Pingelli, I can't see anybody else beating him. Hopefully he gets one and we can get him back on the show to talk about that as well. And I know for his sake, he'll be wanting to win a premiership as well, which they're right in the hunt for, Cos. Yeah, definitely. And uh, obviously got the T20s uh, next week coming up, the National T20 knockout comp. So they're going to be a, another big show in that. So there's some big cricket for university at the moment. 
Yeah, we're going to try and get some coverage of that as well for the viewers to uh, get around the boys there as well. And hopefully yeah, Adelaide Uni can take it out for South Australia. But, uh, mate, you've got the ace cricketer of the week. It's back after a little bit of a hiatus. Uh, I was looking around the competition. There wasn't too many... Uh, <laughs> Well, too you many been, good you haven't scores. been playing, have you? Your string still sore? No, I've, I'm back in the twos, playing in the right. twos at the moment. Um, Can you win it from the twos? Uh, we, well, no. Uh, <laughs> You've got to be playing A1s. Uh, but we'll win a flag in the twos, so right. I might just stay down there just to get a bit of premiership <laughs> glory. But um, no, it's uh, we're going to give it to an absolute stalwart of the Barossa competition uh, from Gilbert Valley, out in the sticks out there. Horrible place to play cricket, but a good place to drink beer. Uh, and that's going to Kimmy Vandeleur. He hit 100 on the weekend out of out of 200. Uh, Kimmy, I don't want to give his age away, but he'd be getting on a bit in life. And uh, he's still still as good as ever, Cos, and, and whacking him. You had the pleasure of getting him out? or? Uh, I have I have gotten him out, yes. Um, I usually like to call Kim my bunny. Um, <laughs> but I've also, uh, Jacob Ahern, that was our, our skipper and wicketkeeper there, also... Dropped him on a goldie uh, to <laughs> me, and uh, he went on to hit. Uh, I think he hit 140 and absolutely killed us all day. We and we lost. So is that your last wicket or your last attempt of a wicket? A one. It'd be close to. <laughs> it'd be close to. It's been a le lean year, cause as the boys boys keep telling me. I think I got what I've got five wickets, four wickets, and about ten runs. So uh, <laughs> been a very good year from myself. Uh, media commitments have taken over. Yeah, Cos. definitely, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Rather talk about it than uh, than play the game, but no, it's uh, it's great. So Kimmy, well done, mate. And uh, I know a few of the uh, Gilbert Valley boys are already on the ace bandwagon as well with their bags and that. So uh, jump onto there and, and look after the boys. They, they got some quality gear as well. But mate, we're going to get in one more show before you uh, yep. get go off to India and then uh, try and maybe wrap up some finals when you're back as well, mate. Yeah, definitely. I'll see if I can get some interviews while I'm over in India for uh, to try and interview the captains. Uh, Pretty sure they'll be happy to do it. Well, I, think, <laughs> uh, I reckon we can get that, and uh, that can certainly be put into our upcoming <laughs> program as well, Cos. But uh, until then, enjoy everyone playing cricket this week, and uh, good luck on the weekend, and good luck going into finals.